And now we're going to move on to text or string formulas. In Excel, when we think of formulas, most of the time we're thinking about numbers and numerical calculations, mathematical calculations. But Excel is actually really, really good at extracting text data from cells. Let me show you an example. Let's say, for example, that I have a PDF bank statement, credit card statement in front of me, and I want to move this information into Excel. Well, many times uh, we try to copy and paste the data. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that into Excel. And we notice that the data doesn't come in the way we want it. We actually want it uh, to get three columns. We wanted the first column to come in with the date, the second column to come in with the description, and the third column here to come in with the text. Now, unfortunately, just the copy and paste didn't, didn't allow you to do that, and it's not possible to do that. So we're going to use formulas in Excel uh, to be able to separate this information out. There's actually many ways to do this, but I'm going to show you the simplest way uh, to get at least the first piece of data, which is the dates. So what we're going to do is we're going to first find where the first space is. That way, if you happen to have a 6, 8, 9, 10 digit date and the it varies, uh, the formula will actually stop right where that space is. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a find. We're going to do find, and the text that we're going to find is going to be a space. So we'll do quotes, space, quote. This is how it is. The quotes tell Excel, hey, within the quotes, that's the text we're looking for. And then we'll do a comma, and then we'll select the cell, and then we'll press enter. Okay, so basically it, told, it is telling me at the sixth character, you have a space. So what I want to tell Excel now is to say, hey, you know what? Come in there and grab every character from left to right up to that sixth character. But I don't want that sixth character. I want the fifth character. So I just do a minus one at the end for this one. So I'm going to do here minus one. And there it is. So now it gives me the first five characters up to that up to that space, but before the space. So in the next uh, cell here to make it easier, what I'll do now is I'm going to do a left formula. So I'm going to say left, go from left to right of A1, which is where my whole cell is. And the number of characters is going to be the calculated uh, number of, of, of uh, characters up to that space. So I'll select that and then I'll hit enter. So that got us the first, uh, the first uh, column, which is the dates. Now this formula should be combined really. So the way this formula should look is this part here, I'm gonna cut this. And then here on this side, I'm gonna replace that with the new formula. So that way this would actually be the real formula that we're gonna use. So this formula allows me to extract from left to right out of cell A1 up to whenever you find a space minus one because I don't want that space to come in. That's what that formula says. So I hit enter and that worked there. So I can delete this column at this point and then we were successfully brought the date there. So I'm going to uh, actually copy this down and there we go. So the next one we want to do and let's let's create some labels up here. So we'll call this one date and this one description. So what we'll do in this one is we're going to tell Excel to extract all the characters from right to left now up to those first five uh, strings or whatever, uh, whatever uh, answer this formula gives me. So I'm going to say I'm going to do the same thing. I'll do equals right. And I'm going to say from, from this cell and the number of characters. Now, for the time being, I just I'm just going to put five here and I'll hit uh, close parentheses and that's going to bring the first five characters from uh, from right to left. That's not what we want. We want to bring in everything but the five. So what we'll do at this point is we'll do another formula here just to illustrate the point here. I'm going to do a length, a length formula, L-E-N. And then with a len, I'll be able to know how many characters are there in this entire string. So I'm going to close the parentheses and this tells me that the number of characters is 47. So what I want to do essentially, it's I want to have 47 total number of characters mi minus the number of characters that this formula took, and that would be the numerical value to go from right to left. So what would that look like? So what I have to do is, 
I'm going to go back to my right formula. And what I'll do here is I'll replace the length here. And I'll replace that. I'll replace that five with that. So now what I'm telling uh, Excel is, hey, I want you to go from right to left and, and do the entire string. So when I press enter, it's just going to return the entire string at this point because I'm doing the entire length. But what I'll do is I'll do length minus this number of characters are here. So what I'll do is I'll copy this formula from here, which is the one that tells me how many characters are there from the first character to the first space up to the last character before the space and come back here into this formula and add that up. So I'm going to do the length and then I'll do this opener here minus this formula over here. So what I'm telling it is, hey, count the total number of characters and remove from that how many characters are there up to the first space minus one. That's going to give me basically every character but the first couple of characters that gets me to that space. When I, so when I hit enter, that's now going to render uh, everything in there. Now, I probably shouldn't have done that minus one in there. So I'm going to remove the minus one and hit enter. And that will actually get me there. So that minus one was actually not uh, required there. So that got me there where I want it. And then I'm going to uh, click and copy this down. So now I successfully got the description, including that last dollar amount that we're about to extract. And I'll show you how to do that. So we successfully did this part. What I'll do is I'll copy these two and I'll paste them, paste special and paste them as values. That way the formulas kind of go away. So I no longer have formulas. Let me delete that. I just have basically the text in there. So I successfully did like 66% of the job. Now we're going to do the, the hardest part, which is extracting the last number. And now this is where it gets interesting. I'm going to go ahead and scroll to the right a little bit, um, just so we can clean it up a little bit and see it a little bit easier. I got my date column. I have my description column. So what I want to do now is I want to extract this last numbers. Now the problem is if I use a straight right formula and I do a right and select that, I have to know the number of characters. So if I happen to guess the number of characters at six, for example, and I hit enter, well, I get that right. But then when I start copying this down, I'm going to get all sorts of random uh, information because I don't have six characters in all of them. And there's no way for me to find backwards that space. So we're going to trick out Excel to be able to achieve this. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to copy this string into another string that now contains instead of one space it's going to contain let's say a hundred spaces so we're going to do is we're going to do equals we'll select uh, we'll do a substitute so let's do a substitute and we're going to select this uh, cell here and we're going to substitute a space so we do quote space quote that's how we tell excel that's the actual character we're looking for with I'm going to do quote and then I'm going to insert a bunch of spaces. So I'll do just holding the space key until I see a whole bunch of uh, spaces. So let me go back to that formula so you see it. So notice right here, there's a there's a quote, okay? And then there's a whole bunch of spaces and then there's an end quote, okay? So at, at this point in time, I just randomly inserted a bunch of spaces there. You can insert more. There's other ways of uh, picking the actual right number, but let's just just do that whole bunch of spaces for now. Then I'll hit enter. And then you notice that my new string, now I have to scroll to the right to see the information. And notice that now all the way here, there's a whole bunch of spaces between that FL and that 322.84, which is really what we want. We want to get just that 322.84. So now that we have this information, now we can basically do uh, in, in the same formula. We can do a right formula, okay? And then we can say write, and then we can put inside that write formula that entire string. And then we can say comma. And then the next question is, how many uh, characters are we going to go from right to left? So in this specific case, we're going to go um, enough characters that it would make sense. So if we're talking about numbers, probably the biggest number we'll see here, it's 100,000. So 100,000 time with the decimal and two uh, numbers we're dealing with what 10 characters at most so at this point we'll just add here 
to the right formula will add a 10 at the end. So we'll do 10 and then we'll close the parentheses. I hit enter. And then here's my results. Okay. So now I'm going to click and drag that down. And I, I am going to get inconsistent spaces. So some of them have more spaces than others, but I do get a clean number and I don't get really anything else. If I would have used instead of 10, maybe I would have used 20. This still would have worked. I'll just see a, a lot of other spaces. As long as I have enough spaces in here in the substitute model, this will work. If I don't use a lot of spaces here, I'm going to delete that. Then I start getting random characters and that's not going to work. So I have to insert enough spaces in my substitute formula to be able to create enough space that it doesn't render anything else but a blank space. Now, this is still not useful for me because for the most part, uh, Excel really can't um, uh, function with numbers when they're in string format. So if they happen to be numbers, I just multiply that times one at the end. So I just added a times one to the formula, hit enter, and then Excel knows to ignore all the leading zeros, I convert it to a number. I can click and drag that down and that will fix that. Now I'm gonna hit undo for a second because what if we're not dealing with numbers? What if the last word that we're looking for, it's, it's actual uh, characters, it's not a number. So uh, times one is really not gonna work. So what we can do is as a substitute of times one is we can do a trim. So I'm gonna do a trim. And what a trim does, it just gets rid of extra spaces. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna encapsulate the entire formula inside of a, a trim. So that's all I'm doing. I'm saying, hey, whatever the results are, trim it, and then I'll hit enter. And then basically what a trim does is gets rid of all the leading spaces. So I can click and drag that down and I'm gonna have clean numbers, but they're left justified, right? Um, and I want them right justified because I want Excel to look at them as numbers. So it's not just a matter of moving it from left to right justification. At that point, I can add the times one if it happens to be a numerical value and hit enter. Of course, if we're always dealing with a numerical value, then I could just do the times one and don't need the trim. But if we're doing with text, trim is the best way to do it. So now I successfully got uh, the date separate, the description with the dollar value and the dollar value. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this description with a new one. I'm going to hit insert and I'm going to open this up a little bit. And then what I'll do is I'm going to do another substitute. So do equals uh, substitute. And I'm going to say, what do I want to substitute? Well, in this cell, what I want to substitute is the number, right? So I'm going to say, hey, out of this cell, find this number and replace it with nothing. So the new text, which is the next part of the string, is going to be quote, quote. So in Excel, if I want to say, hey, insert nothing, that's quote, quote. And I close parentheses and I'll hit enter. Okay, so what that formula does essentially is replaces the string that contains the number with a string that contains all the information, but replace a nothing f with that number that was already extracted separately. So I'm gonna click and drag that down, and now I have a clean uh, description. So I'm gonna copy that entire column, and I'm gonna click on pay special values and hit okay. That way I can delete the original column, and I'm done with that. Whoops, let me undo that. I was supposed to copy and paste the values for these two before I delete any formula. So copy and paste values there, and I can delete this one. That also means I can delete the original one, okay? So now I have the three columns that I wanted, the date, description, and amount, okay? So I got my titles correctly. Now, if I wanted to fix that date, uh, we're gonna do some uh, date type of cleanup formulas, which is gonna be the next lesson. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert here a